Today I will be talking about how to make a lesson in Nearpart. Since you will click on lesson in Nearpart. And once you click on lesson in Nearpart, you're going to have to give this lesson a title. My title will be demo. I always put the date I always put the date on my lessons. If I have a student that is absent on the day that I presented this near part lesson, this gives me an opportunity to locate that particular lesson for that student and what day that student was absent. When you click on settings, settings is where you're going to give the lesson details. You the description, the title, drop down box for the grade subject drop down box submit now we're going to create the lesson so i'm going to add a slide i will go to add content when you go to add content you have slides which is your powerpoints you have uh, flow vocabulary videos near part 3d and have all these different type of um contents that you can use to put into your lesson. I'm going to start off with the slide. And with the slide is just like a PowerPoint. They give you various different type of themes. You can um, add a text. You can put in an image, a video. I'm going to put in an image. So I'm talking about probability. So I have an image, click the image, save it. You can put the unit, it's unit four. And if you want to give the students some type of instructions on this, you can click audio, an audio recorder. You click this microphone to get started. To class today, we will be talking about probability. Make sure that you have your math journal and you're reviewing your notes. You can play it back. You see these blue marks right here? This is where you can move the You move the, the marks exactly how you want to edit your video voice. And now you can play it. We'll, we'll have to highlight it right here. And now we can play it. So once you've done that, you now can save it. And if you didn't like it, you can you can uh, trash it, start over. Now that I put this slide, I'll save it. Since we are talking about probability, I can add another slide. And this time, this slide could be where I can go into um, Flow vocabulary and insert a video. Click on the drop down box, look for your subject, and we're talking about probability. And I add. Now that I've added this um, video, I can now go into Flow Cavalier. So if I click on Flow Cavalier, um, 
I'll go to math again. I can click on the lesson probability, but notice how they have teacher resource. I can click on teacher resource. You have overview, handouts. So I'm gonna click on handouts. When you click on handouts, this is where you can take a worksheet that has already been creative and upload it into a file on your desktop or in your Google Drive or your, your OneCloud or your uh, Dropbox. And then you can take that, that PDF file and up, upload it into your Nearpod. So we're talking about um, this vocabulary video the kids had already looked at. So now we can download some vocabulary cards. And if you notice how the sheets are, I'm gonna save this into my my um, desktop where I have how to near part. So I'll save the vocabulary cards. Since I've saved the vocabulary cards, exit out of this one. I'm gonna now go back to near part. Now I can upload that file. So I come here, find my folder, click on probability cards. They're at, and here they're gonna prompt you, upload as individual slides or as the whole entire PDF file. I'm doing individual slides. Once you did the, the individual slides, um, you now can take those slides and make it into a drawing. By putting it into a drawing, the kids can type in their information on here. So all these slides I have, I'm going to create it as a drawing. So you click on the slide and you convert it to a drawing. They're going to prompt you again. And you're going to say no, because you don't need an extra slide. And you would do this for all your um, slides that you have that you want to make it a draw it. Upon completing making it a draw it, if you decide that you wanted to um, give the kids a quiz, you now can uh, click on add a slide. You can do a, add a web content where you can put in a, um, a URL code where the kids can either go to a ed puzzle and answer questions or you can have them look at a youtube video or if you didn't want them to look at a youtube video you could add um, another video from you can add something in a lesson from flipgrid if you wanted to <clears throat> now come here and add activity Time to climb, time to climb is something that you would do when you're doing a live lesson. Um, Open-ended questions is when you can give them a question. You can add the timer on here where it'll time them, give them so much time to answer the question then you can save it. You can even upload an image or a PDF uh, file or a video and have your question right here and save it. So I'll go back to add a slide. Um, the activity again, we can give them a quiz, we can add a flip grid, you can um, have a draw it, which we already have, um, collaboration and time to climb is 
is a function that is used when you're doing a live activity. You can put in a poll, fill in the blanks, or memory test. And once you've completed this lesson, you'll click save. Now it's time for you to share your lesson. If you can have it as a live lesson or as a student pace, if you just, since we're um, utilizing this as a student pace, you can click on student pace. And here's where you can link it. You can email it, put it on social, link it, embed it, Google Classroom, Remind. If you are using, um, if you want to put this on Schoology, then you would, you can link it and you'll just copy it and put it in Schoology. If you're going to use Google Classroom, then you can click on Google Classroom, choose a class, choose an action. Now, when you go here, you can title it. It's my demo. Here, where it says four. Now you can click on all your classes when you first um, start the lesson and wanting to share this assignment. It only lets you pick one class. But once you end the assignment, you can pick all your classes. You can put some instructions here. Um, you can do a due date. You can also search by topic or you can create a topic and the kids will know exactly where to go on Google Classroom. You can assign it, and they they the students will receive a alert that some assignments have been placed in Google Classroom. Or if you're doing it per class, you can um, you can set a schedule for it. Let me discard this draft. And this is how you make a lesson in Nearpod.